Guys, I did a video just a, a couple of videos ago, um, a retro review of Command and Conquer Generals Zero Hour. And just reading the comments, it was clearly not just my favorite uh, Command and Conquer game. So many people had a huge kind of response in the comments to that video. Uh, it obviously um, brought back great memories for a lot of, a lot of people, fond memories of, of a time when uh, RTS games were just fantastic. Sadly, um, them days are gone. Hopefully they'll come back, but there's not much sign of that at the minute. Um, but, you know, we live in hope. But anyway, I was contacted by a guy called uh, Dominator. Um, I had a girlfriend called Dom... Oh, no, it was Dom Dominator. Uh, Dominator, who's a very active Command & Conquer Zero Hour player. And he wanted to remind me that the community for Command & Conquer is very much alive. There's competitions. There's just friendly games. There's tons and tons of resources that I didn't even know existed. So he sent me some um, links, which I'm going to put in the description of this video. It has map packs. It has where to go to get instructions on getting it to run uh, on the latest Windows systems. Competitions that you can enter where you can win a ton of money. Uh, so this, I mean, you've got to learn how to tank rush, of course, which I never, I never liked that. Do you know what? The, the best times I had on Zero Hour were in an internet cafe where we would make up rules and say no attacking for 15 minutes and stuff like that. I was never into the the, the quick ta tank rushing and because I used to love building up a big base and then or, or assaulting a base that had a shit ton of defense. I just, you know, just like a slow and easy game. Um, but I think it's because I sucked. Um, I was never great at Command and Conquer PvP, even though I played a shit ton of it. I always remember, I'll tell you this, I've told this in my streams before, one game that particularly I loved um, it was a 2v2 game, and uh, 2v2v2 game actually, and me and this lad, I didn't know who he was, he was an American guy, and uh, we were we were doing well. Two people had already been eliminated and we were coming up against the last two, and they'd been the ones that had mainly eliminated the other guys, so they took a big hit, so we used the opportunity to send our armies over. My ally sent his in first, and uh, our says I'll cover the bases at the back, but uh, once you get in I'll... I'll send mine into mob up and I think I had three nukes and uh, it was horrible really because he got stuck in and then I came in um, slightly after that about two or three minutes and then I um, typed in caps there can be only one and nuked his fucking base and so there was just me left at the end of the game <laughs> it was a cruel cruel it was a cruel world back then guys I'll never forget that he was not happy. He was not happy, but hey, you know, don't partner up with Mac. So anyway, that's got nothing to do with this. Uh, so yeah, what you've got here is you've got tournaments for like a thousand dollars. There's two v two challenges, but also if you're not even into that, there's just a load of maps you can download. There's an instruction video on how to get it working, like I said before. And the game is very active on uh, Revora, which I don't know what that is, but it's a apparently unofficial new servers. Radmin and Game Ranger. So. Check out the links in the description if you're wanting to play Zero Hour. There's links to get your game up and running, map packs, and where to play. So there you go, guys. Enjoy.